What is going on, everybody? This is going to be my price prediction for the top five alts not named Ethereum in the market as of today, April 26th of 2024. I'm going to give you my price prediction for this bull run that's coming up. The, the projects are going to be BNB, Solana, XRP, Dogecoin, and TonCoin. TonCoin, huge come up just recently, uh, putting itself into the top five altcoins. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content. And we're going to kick this off with the first one up, and that's going to be BNB. So guys, BNB we've been watching, and it's getting close to its all-time high again. It's had a nice recovery, been kind of in line with Bitcoin. Bitcoin, we would expect, is probably going to at least 150000 in this next bull run. Uh, that's a conservative estimate, I think, for most people. Now, part of that is a doubling of the current market cap overall in cryptocurrency, with Bitcoin probably having a little bit of a lead in dominance, a little bit more than it had in the last bull run. Now, what does that mean? And I'm going to keep this one simple for you. BNB's prediction, 1400 so I'm predicting that BNB is going to go up to 1400 And the way that I did this was actually fairly simple. I took the top over here. I took the all-time high. Again, it runs with Bitcoin. It's been pretty consistent along the lines of Bitcoin other than SEC intervention, stuff like that. So I think that we're going to see a doubling of the price. Actually, I know it's not what some of you want to see, but that's about as good as it's going to get, in my opinion, for BNB provided... There's not a gigantic amount of burn or a gigantic amount of manipulation, if you will, from Binance. Now, let's look at this. The reason that we're pretty solid and the reason that I'm pretty confident in this comes down to 88 billion market cap, 88 billion fully diluted market cap. Everything is in the circulating supply. So Binance can do some buybacks and burns. But everything is in circulation right now, which means that this is about as pure a token as you can get. Everything is out here in the open, renounced. They're not going to dump on you. You're not going to have any moment where something gets a little bit weird. So we're going to call Binance 1400. And now let's move on. And we're going to be talking about Solana. Solana, it's a little bit different. Let's check it out. So with Solana, structurally, the same kind of thing right now. Now, there is some downward pressure, downward momentum right at this moment on Solana because there's been some network congestion. The markets have been waning just a bit over time. However, it had a nice rally similar to what BNB was going through. And the all-time high is checking in at 260. So surprise, surprise, uh, we're going to move this out here. My prediction is that Solana from 139 right now is going to go up to 520, which is going to be about a 4X from where it's currently trading. A little bit better opportunity, in my opinion, than BNB if you're looking for a large cap to have a nice run. Now, this is a minimum projection because there is still some possibility of some tremendous upside for Solana. Solana has been running very well compared to Ethereum in total market cap, total uh, daily transactions. It's pretty favorable in a lot of different instances. Now let's look at this. So now we're going to talk about a few problems with Solana. Fundamentally, 62 billion token, 62 billion market cap out of a at about, about let's call it an 80 billion dollar fully diluted. Now the reason for that: 447 million Solana are in circulation, but there's a total supply of 574 million, which means that currently the team is still holding on to 127 million in supply. 127 million in supply currently represents a market cap of about $18 billion. There's a significant amount that they're still holding back, which could be dumped on the market at any time. So there will be some nervousness until all of it is in circulation. Of course, when it's all in circulation, there has to be a revenue production. Uh, there'll be some complications with Solana because you don't make a lot uh, Solana doesn't produce a lot because it's just minuscule prices for transactions. It's going to take a whole lot of retail interaction and a whole lot of business interaction to get Solana to go above where the projection is. So again, 
Solana around 520, about a 4X from where it is right now. Solana does represent a great opportunity for an investment, a long-term investment. This is just for the next bull run. We're predicting that to be about 18 months out from where we are right around now. So a nice 4X on your investment for that period of time seems to me to be a, a really good opportunity. And of course, if you got in early, then you're just multiplying over. So let's move on to the next one. Guys, the bull run is almost here. The halving is almost here. The Hong Kong Ethereum ETF is almost here. You like ERC-20. We all like ERC-20. And the best way for you to accumulate more ERC-20 tokens or more Bitcoin, it's Cryptonomy.finance. If you've been here before, you know that I've been talking about a lot of these tokens. There's over 400 that you can choose from. They offer an exchange with the, be with the best rates uh, without commissions and support from a highly qualified support and trading team 24-7. And this is available to every participant. Of course, you get immediate support if you are a VIP. And you can deposit UST into your Cryptonomy account. And then you can start to buy the desired assets that you want to use over here and exchange them as needed. Over 400 of them. And there's going to be a lot of updates coming out over the next couple of days, weeks, and months. So guys, if you are looking to advance your crypto portfolio, you need more tokens. Why not let the tokens that you currently have work for you? Go to Cryptonomy.finance, sign up today, and let it grow. And then next one, da 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 Da, da, da. It's going to be XRP. Okay, guys. So XRP represents a different paradigm entirely. It had a very nice run up to $1.96 in the last bull run. However, if we were to zoom out just a little bit and I were to move back here uh, and use some other things other than Binance right now, you might see a little bit higher. There was a spike in price uh, a little bit more. Now, of course, the SEC famously sued Ripple, uh, Ripple settled just recently, which is where you get this spike right here. But as you see from this, that was not a sustained pump. Now, the, the benefit that you see is that the price action up until just recently right here continues to have more upside momentum. Now, even if you look at it long term, still upside momentum. But generally speaking, it's been pretty bullish over this period of time, despite the fact that we haven't really seen an enormous run from it. And you might be asking yourself a little bit about why are we not seeing that run? Well, uh, let's look at this. And by the way, the prediction is going to be $3 up here. Now that may not be as bullish and it does not represent a huge increase compared to what you would see in BNB. It does not represent the same as I'm giving you in Solana. This one's a little more muted. Now this is and does represent about a 5X, 5.5X from where we currently are. So it's going to be the biggest yield gain that I'm going to give you in this regard. However, I know a lot of people are looking for a much higher number, but I want to point out something that is alarming. So the market cap is 29 billion, as you can see right here. However, fully diluted, it's over 52.6 billion. And when you break this down, 55 billion tokens are in circulation out of a total supply of close to 100 billion tokens, which means that the foundation, Ripple Labs, they're holding almost half of the supply. They are in control of the price action, the market. We don't know what this looks like on the open market yet. And despite that, there's been some really good headwinds and there's been some really good and promising partnerships and potential pictures showing Ripple dealing with the government, et cetera, et cetera. Not the SEC, by the way. Um, I don't know that we're not already fairly well saturated with XRP in this market. And I do want to point out, despite the fact that XRP is a fantastic ledger, there are more ledgers out here and more blockchains that are out here doing uh, as many, if not more transactions, a little less expensively than XRP. XRP is no longer the, the beacon that it previously was. So we're talking about XRP at $3, and we're going to leave it there right now. Again, it's going to be about a 5.5x from where it is at this moment. So I think it's definitely worth making sure that you have enough in your bag so that you feel comfortable with it. Now let's move on to Dogecoin, which is going to be the one meme coin that we're going to be talking about 
uh, in this prediction. And we're going to look at the previous high. And, and in fact, I'm going to give you a spoiler alert here. I'm going to give you the high right away because uh, you're not going to like it. All right, guys. So predicting what's going to happen to Dogecoin is complicated. It's, it's difficult. Uh, Dogecoin is incredibly inflationary and it's very tough to predict how much price action you can get out of this coin. And, and to explain to you a little bit about why, when this last run happened, when we got up to the all-time high of 73.995 cents, there were far less tokens in circulation. There were less than uh, 100 billion tokens in circulation. There are now almost 150 billion tokens in circulation. 50 billion in new tokens have entered the market since this original period of time where we had this magnificent run, okay? When that magnificent run happened, it went up to $88 billion. Now, the only thing left for Doge, other than to become monetary, to become a, a transactional dollar in maybe the X ecosystem or in Tesla, or getting adopted by other companies to be used as a form of currency. The only the only thing left for Dogecoin is a one hundred billion dollar market cap, and it probably it probably checks that Dogecoin is going to be the one that does one hundred billion market cap. That being said, if it were to do it, it has one hundred and forty five billion in supply right now, and if you take that divided by one hundred billion, that gives you about sixty nine. 0.9 uh, cents, which means that to get to the all-time high again, you would be going over 100 billion market cap. Now, the question is, can it double the market cap of 88 billion? Well, there's still no use and no function and no reason for Doge to get into that realm. However, 75 cents, I think, is a pretty good estimation of what Doge can do. And if you consider where we are right now, that is about a 5x from where we currently are. Now, let me point this out. Again, you have a full circulating supply, 21.2 billion market cap, uh, diluted the same, 144 billion tokens in circulation. Again, when we were at this all-time high over here in 2021, there were less than 100 billion tokens in circulation, which made it easier when it started to pop to get this higher number. Now, there's an additional almost 50 billion tokens in the ecosystem, so it's going to be much tougher. So we're going to take Dogecoin at 75 cents. I'm not sure how you feel about that. I, I know a lot of people are looking for Doge to a dollar, and you know I'll be fair with you. I I just do not see it. I don't think there's a possibility that exists where Doge does that. But Doge, to me, appears to be an easy, an absolutely easy 5x from this point. So uh, if you have the risk on to do that in the next 18 months, and you want to see what, to me, would appear to be a guaranteed 5X, then Dogecoin will do you right. Now, let's move on to the final win of the day, and that's going to be TonCoin, Ton standing for the Open Network. So TonCoin checks in at, right now, with a high of $7.66, currently trading around $5.32, having a little bit of a retracement off of what has been some really good and really nice uh, pumps that we've had recently in the market. However, uh, TonCoin is a little bit different and a little bit of an outlier in the overall market. And uh, for full disclosure here, I'm predicting that TonCoin will end up at $28 in this next bull run, which means that it is very close to it, but not quite. Well, I think it it might be the highest one that I have in these top in this top listing because I do think that there's some really good things that TonCoin does. Now, uh, to be clear, let's go look at TonCoin when it comes to most of the supply is already in circulation, so we're dealing with a fully diluted market cap of 27.1 billion dollars currently, 18.5. So not much difference. However, circulating supply 3.5 billion in circulation, 5.1 billion total supply. So uh, the team can still dunk on the price a little bit, but uh, they've been shown not to really do that. Now, Newton, uh, who famously took this over a while back, and if you remember, and if you don't know about TonCoin, in 2018, it was about to be launched, and 
uh, Telegram, who was the founder and who was creating the TonCoin blockchain, got sued by the SEC because of the TonCoin blockchain, where they called it a security. So they abandoned the project, and that left it kind of uh, out there with no rudder, if you will, and somebody took over the rudder. And the Ton Foundation started to create this huge let's call it opportunity for anybody. And then it was supported by Telegram. Telegram boasts around 700 million users. And although crypto is a small space in the Telegram ethos, if you will, it is still the primary source for communication for cryptocurrency in addition to the X app. Now, when we break this down, and the reason that I broke this down the way that I did and went to $28 was was actually, it's pretty simple. Um, I do think uh, there's a specific market cap that we're going to get to in the market, around $6 trillion, I think, in this next run at a minimum. And when we do, I think that you know fair value for all altcoins and percentages kind of predicates that there's going to be a pump in this. So I'm, I'm, I'm very bullish about that. And the fact that most of the tokens... Uh, or a predominant, a predominant portion of the tokens are already out here and circulating. That kind of tells me that there is some great opportunity here. Now, in order for this all to happen, TonCoin is going to have to have a market cap of around $100 billion. But if you consider that TonCoin is uh, the payment device found in Telegram, and that Telegram is the place that you onboard people into crypto, well, then it stands to reason that TonCoin will probably be at the forefront of payment models for cryptocurrency, transactional crypto. It's probably going to be one of the pieces that helps you onboard your way into cryptocurrency by virtue of being part of the Telegram verse. So to summarize, uh, we got BNB, which I think is probably going to 1400. We've got Solana coming in at about 520. Uh, we've got XRP, which I think is going to go to $3. We've got Dogecoin, which I'm sorry, 75 cents is about the highest that I can see. And we have TonCoin clocking in finally at $28 in this bull run. Now, guys, if you like this type of content, we're going to continue to make our way down. I'm going to give you predictions. I'm going to try to fact check and make sure that all of these are based on reality and what I see as the reality of these cryptos. And by the way, I could be incredibly wrong about every single one of these. I'm not a financial analyst. I'm not an expert. You guys know uh, I've famously predicted the Bitcoin price. I did a great job, right? Um, but I've missed as much as I've hit. So when I'm doing this, I'm telling you what I think is going to happen. If you appreciate that and, and you like that, make sure, leave a super chat, um, uh, put, put all the stickers up, subscribe to the channel, do whatever you got to do to help support me. So I continue to bring you this type of content. And then we're going to come up with the next five on the list. And we're going to do that list as well. So until then, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.